King James Bible, the fifth book of Moses called Deuteronomy, chapter 20. When thou goest out to battle against thine enemies, and seest horses and chariots and a people more than thou, be not afraid of them, for the Lord thy God is with thee, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. And it shall be, when ye come up nigh unto the battle, that the priest shall approach and speak unto the people, and shall say unto them, Hear, O Israel, ye approach this day unto battle against your enemies. Let not your hearts faint, fear not, and do not tremble, neither be ye terrified because of them. For the Lord your God is he that goeth with you to fight for you against your enemies to save you. And the officers shall speak unto the people, saying, What man is there that hath built a new house, and hath not de dedicated it? Let him go and return to his house, let he, lest he die in the battle, and another man dedicate it. And what man is he that hath planted a vineyard, and hath not yet eaten of it? Let him also go and return unto his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man eat of it. And what man is there that hath betrothed a wife, and hath not taken her? Let him go and return unto his house, lest he die in the battle, and another man take her. And the officers shall speak further unto the people, and they shall say, What man is there that is fearful and faint-hearted? Let him go and return unto his house, lest his brother's, brethren's heart fail, faint as well as his heart. And it shall be, when the officers have made an end of speaking unto the people, that they shall make captains of their armies to lead the people. When thou comest nigh unto the city to fight against it, then proclaim peace unto it. And it shall be, if it make thee answer of peace and open unto thee, then it shall be that all the people that is found therein shall be tributaries unto thee, and they shall serve thee. And if it will make no peace with thee, but will make war against thee, then thou shalt besiege it. And when the Lord thy God hath delivered it into thine hands, thou shalt smite every male thereof with the edge of the sword. But the women and the little ones and the cattle and all that is in the city, even all the spoil thereof, shalt thou take unto thyself, and thou shalt eat the spoil of thine enemies, which the Lord thy God hath given thee. Thus shalt thou do unto all the cities which are very far off from thee, which are not in the cities of these nations. But of the cities of these people, which the Lord thy God doth give thee for an inheritance, thou shalt save alive nothing that breatheth. But thou shalt utterly destroy them, namely the Hittites and the Amorites and the Canaanites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites, as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee, that they teach you not to do after all their abominations, which they have done unto their gods, so should ye sin against the Lord your God. When thou shalt besiege a city a long time, and making war against it to take it, thou shalt not destroy the trees thereof by forcing an axe against them, for thou mayest eat of them, and thou shalt not cut them down, for the tree of the field is a man's life, to employ them in the siege. Only the trees which thou knowest, that they be not trees for me, thou shalt destroy and cut them down, and thou shalt build bulwarks against the city that maketh war with thee, until it be subdued. Chapter 21 if one is found slain in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee to possess it, lying in the field, and it be not known whom hath slain him, then thy elders and thy judges shall come forth, and they shall measure unto the cities which are round about him that is slain. And all shall be that the city which is next unto the slain man, even the elders of the city, shall take a heifer which has not been wrought with, and, with, and which hath not drawn in the yoke, and the elders of that city shall bring down the heifer unto the rough valley, which is neither eared nor sown, and shall strike off the heifer's neck there in the valley. And the priests, the sons of Levi, shall come near, for them Lord thy God hath chosen to minister unto him, and to bless in the name of the Lord. By their word shall every controversy and every stroke be tired. Tried, sorry. And all the elders of the city, which are next unto the slain man, shall wash their hands over the heifer that is beheaded in the valley. And they shall answer and say, Our hands have not shed this blood, neither have our eyes seen it. Be merciful, O Lord, unto thy people Israel, whom thou hast redeemed, and lay not innocent blood unto thy people of, Israel, of Israel's charge. And the blood shall be forgiven them. So shalt thou put away the guilt of innocent blood from among you, when thou shalt do that which is right in the sight of the Lord. When thou goest forth to war against thine enemies, 
and the Lord thy God hath, del hath delivered them into thine hands, and thou hast taken them captive, and seest among the captives a beautiful woman, and hast a desire unto her, that thou wouldest have her for thy wife, that thou shalt bring her home to thine house, and she shall shave her head, and pare her nails, and she shall put the raiment of her captivity from off her, and shall remain in thine house, and bewail her father and her mother a full month, and after that thou shalt go in unto her, and be her husband, and she shall be thy wife. And it shall be, if thou hast no delight in her, then thou shalt let her go whither she will, but thou shalt not sell her at all for money, thou shalt not make merchandise of her, because, because thou hast humbled her. If a man have two wives, one beloved and another hated, and they have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated, and if the first son Firstborn son be hers that is hated, then it shall be when he maketh his sons to inherit that which he hath, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. But he shall acknowledge the son of the hated for the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he hath, for he is the beginning of his strength, the right of the firstborn is his. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when they have chastened him will not hearken unto them. Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him, and bring him unto the elders of the city, and unto the gate of his place. And they shall say unto the elders of his city, This is our son, is stubborn and rebellious, he will not obey our voice, he is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of the city shall stone him with stones, that he die, so that Thou put evil away from among you, and all Israel shall hear and fear. And if a man have committed a sin worthy of death, and he be to be put to death, and thou hang him on a tree, his body shall not remain all night upon the tree, but thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged is accursed of God, and thy land be not defiled, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance.